So on paper, a 28 inch bow, a guy my size with a 30 and a half inch draw, you're thinking way too steep of a string angle. You're thinking it's gonna be a critical bow of my draw length. And that's the same thing I had concerns about when I first saw the specs of the Triax. But they brought, Matthews actually brought the bow out to my house before I'd ever had a graphic on it. I said, I wanna shoot this thing. And from the minute I shot it, I fell in love with it. And what you'll notice is string angle can relate to axle to axle. But what it is, these cams are so big and they stick up so high over the axles, you can't really base your judgment of string angle on the axle to axle measurement of this bow. It has a string angle of about a 32 inch bow. And I'd shot a Halon 32 up until this time. And honestly, if I was at full draw, I wouldn't have been able to tell you which bow I was shooting. Same comfort, same anchor, same everything. Didn't have to change anything. String angle was absolutely not an issue with this bow. The biggest difference between the Triax and the Halon 32 that I was shooting, uh, obviously the compact size, um, but more importantly, how dead in your hand this bow is. It absolutely has no feedback whatsoever, no vibration. It's a little faster for me. Um, it's been an unbelievable bow just out of my way. You know, when I'm on a mountain hunt, I like to throw a bow in my pack and go in a blind. I'm a tall guy, big guy. It's hard for me to get to full draw in a blind without bumping something. This bow has been able to do that for me, and that's been the biggest difference is just the compact size and the vibration of this bow. It's been an unbelievable asset to me as a bow hunter. So this bow was designed to be a whitetail bow, you know, tree stand ground blind, and we do a lot of whitetail hunting. And I have trained myself over the years to aim low on a whitetail, especially past 30 yards. The sound of that bow, um, a lot of deer turn inside out, you know, they'll duck. And so I, I trained myself my whole life as a bow hunter to aim low, lower third, low in the heart, um, and hit a lot of deer, 90% of them in the lungs doing that. Well, this year I just kept hitting them low in the heart, in the heart, and I'm like, man, I'm, I'm flirting with shooting these deer too low. And so we started reviewing all the footage and literally every whitetail, every animal we shot, literally stood there and took the arrow the whole way. I don't even know that they ever heard the bow go off. And it's a true testament to how quiet and fast this new Triax really is. Um, I'm having to literally retrain myself where to aim on a whitetail because they're not reacting to the shot. <laughs>